Check it out. It's in. That's sweet. That welder's gonna be sitting right in there. It's not gonna be as tall as it though. It's probably gonna be up to the top of the first set of horseshoes you see. There's like 12 inches of space between the top and the welder. I made it taller for a reason. And this is the track system. There's the plate, 3 8 plate I got for the track to sit on. It is solid. When that's welded in, man, mm. look at the clearance. Damn. This is sweet. It'll be locked in place. Don't have room really to put my latch and I don't want to move these because I like where the track sits so I might just weld a piece from here to here and then put my latch on it and on this side in the back here it's gonna have a hitch lock and then there's gonna be two hitch locks up front check this out right to the edge of the bed and you have everything right up front. And then back here eventually, I'll weld a plate on here with some angle iron support under it. For two tanks. Put a little upright right here. And across to hold the top of them. This cart's gonna hold a lot of stuff. Here's my angle for them top wheels. like a double bearing system and it's gonna need straightened out a little bit lifted up but yeah there's gonna be that on both sides so in case you're in the fender bender it's not gonna come off the track all right here is the lock system this piece here it's gonna be welded in place there's gonna be a hole through it I'm also gonna put a hole through this that way I can weld this piece in right here, just like this. And then, once that's welded in, this block is going to be notched right here. And it's going to slide on. Okay? Feel it? And then this pin is going to go through that block. That piece, that's going to be slotted in here. And then through this block. So you get the idea now. And then when you take the pin out, you'll be able to remove this block and you'll be able to slide it out of the bed. So yeah, and the, this is actually going to be sunk probably like this far in and this far in. So you ain't going to be able to cut it. But yeah, that's going to be done on both sides for the lock system. So it can't for theft reasons, you know, of course, it's going to be very difficult getting through that. And, uh, there's also going to be a trailer hitch lock pin on that side back there. Alright, that plate that I was talking about earlier that I said I was going to put in here for these. There's going to be one here, and one one that's back in place. And then on this side, it's going to have a hitch lock back there. So there's essentially going to be three locks on this whole thing. But yeah, it's coming along. I don't know if I want to be out here tomorrow. It's going to be like 28 degrees for a high. But man, I got so much work to do. I got pieces of angle for now to uh, put across underneath the bed for support since it's a little rotted out. I got new, uh, I got new bed cross members, all new. But I'm one. I'm trying to wait till the summertime for me to get all that done. Take the bed off. Take my time with putting the cross members in. Paint it down with pour 15, paint the frame with pour 15, so there's a lot to do in the summertime, but if I can get temporary cross members in there, it'll be cool, it'll be good enough. But man, this is awesome. What a setup. That water's going to be probably about right here, and the screen's going to be here, so and that's about as far forward as it's going to come, and I'll be able to make my adjustments put anything here I'm working on on the bed um, I found a welding rig vice it's a trailer hitch so I was thinking of welding the trailer hitch piece here and then I can just slide the vice in right here anytime 
I need a vise. But yeah, this is coming along real nicely. And the cool thing about this, the whole thing will come out the bed when I want to use it for something else. I mean, these angles and track will be in here permanently, but you still have all the space to use for the bed. So if you pick up sheet or plywood, <clears throat> it's not going <laughs> to matter. I'll round the corners off in case I get bags of mulch or sand. But man, this turned out wonderful. Let's slide it back. That was the rail there fell over. Wow. That is sweet. <laughs>